So now in this lecture we are going to start from the same place where we left off in the last lecture. So what did we see in the last lecture? First of all our problem statement. What is the problem statement? First of all if R0 is less than 1 then we have to prove that the value of Q star equals to 0 and if R0 is greater than 1 then the value of Q star is something which is greater than 0. This thing we have to prove and then we and we know what is q star right so what is q star q star is nothing but limit n tends to infinity qn where qn is the probability that your infection persists till the nth level that is at least one person at the nth level is infected and in the last lecture we have derived a formula for qn and the formula was 1 minus 1 minus p qn minus 1 to the power of k. What we are going to do in this lecture is now we are going to analyze this formula further. So let me write this formula here and we will analyze it. Qn is 1 minus 1 minus pq and minus 1 to the power of k. Okay. Now what is q0? Let us look at q0, q1, q2, q3 and so on. What do you think is Q0? You won't get it from this formula. So Q0 is what? The probability that your infection persists till the 0th level. And what is that probability? So what was our problem statement? This was a guy who was here having K neighbors. And this person was again having K neighbors. This person was again having K neighbors and so on. And your infection started from here. And the question was what is the probability that infection reaches here to the nth level was our question. What is level 0 here? This is level 0. And what is the probability that at least one person at this level is infected? It's obviously 1. Right? For sure one, this guy has to be infected here. If this guy was not infected here there was no problem we would be solving. Right? So entire problem is because this person at the 0th level is infected. It is infected with a probability 1. So Q0 equals to 1. What is Q1? Finding Q1 is easy. Put the value in this formula. What is Q1? 1 minus 1 minus P Q0 to the power of K. Right? What is Q2? Q2 is 1 minus 1 minus P Q1 to the power of K. And what is our aim? Our aim is to find Q star which will come after we will keep repeating this formula. So we have Q0, from Q0 we can find Q1, from Q1 we can find Q2 and then we have to do this process infinite number of times and finally we will find the value of Q star. We actually we can't do it infinite number of times. So let's see how do we find out this value. So now we have all this, we know Q0, Q1, Q2 and we know that what is Qn? Qn is nothing but 1 minus 1 minus P, Qn minus 1 to the power of K. I try to write it down in the form of a function. It's already in form of a function. I just take a function y equals to f of x. And I define this function as 1 minus 1 minus Px to the power of K. Now in terms of this function, can we see what is Q1? Q0 obviously is 1. What is Q1 according to this function? So if we see what is Q1 here, 1 minus 1 minus PQ0 to the power of K. This and this are actually the same. I've just written this in the form of a function here. So we can write Q1 as nothing but 1 minus 1 minus, oh very sorry. So we can simply write Q1 as what? f of q0 right what is f of q0 1 minus 1 minus p q0 to the power of k which is same as this right what is q2 now q2 is f of q1 1 minus 1 minus p q1 to the power of k which is nothing but i put the value of q1 here it become f double dash means f of f of so f of f of q0 Similarly, what is Q3? Q3 is nothing but F triple dash of Q0. And similarly, you see what is Q star going to be? Q star is going to be F dash 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 
infinite times means f of f of f of f of infinite times q0. And we also know that the value of q0 is 1. So I can write it down as q star equals to f of f of f of infinite times 1. Right? So what is our overall aim now? Our aim now is we have a function y equals to f of x which we define which is 1 minus 1 minus px to the power of k and I know now the value q star which I have to find is nothing but f of f of f of infinite times 1 and how do I find out this value? Once I find out this value my task is done. Our aim is to find the value of q star Obviously, given the value of R0, that is to come in the next lecture, our overall aim is just to find this value of Q star and we'll be finding it in our next lectures. Probably just one or two lecture more, we'll be finding the value of Q star.